the stand and do a bill about uh, Westpac. In fact, it, uh, stand up and talk about a bill on the Westpac. Sorry, Mr Hughes. The, uh, this bill has been brought to by Craig Foss, the wonderful member from Talkie Talk. But Westpac is, uh, and, and it was my first bank, and I vividly remember as a seven-year-old going to New Brighton, going to New Brighton, opening my first bank account up with, uh, with, with Westpac. And, and it was actually it wasn't called Westpac at that stage; it was actually called Trust Bank Canterbury. And the reason I raise that, Mr. Speaker, it has a really interesting aspect, a reason why this bill has to be brought before the House. Because what happened, Mr Speaker, Westpac brought out Trust Bank Canterbury. As you, some of you may recall, Trust Bank Canterbury was the dominant bank in Christchurch and the wider uh, uh, Ivorans. And what ended up happening was all the issues around all the assets that were purchased as part of the Trust Bank Canterbury uh, uh, acquisition went into what was called the Westpac Banking Corporation branch, which actually is a branch of the Australian operation, not a standalone entity. Now, at the time, people thought that, well, so what? You know, so what? Well, so the, the, the big key aspect of that, the, the, the depositors and, and investors in Trustpack Canterbury went from being in, invested in a direct subsidiary of a New Zealand entity, i.e. it was regulated by the Reserve Bank in New Zealand, to being regulated by a branch entity which had less control by, by the Reserve Bank. And this bill we have before us actually fixes that, and I think that's a good step. Uh, we've seen Westpac has been around New Zealand for, for a long time, and, and, and as I say, the, the, the personal history of, of, of my banking relationship with them has been an interesting one. But it has been one where they actually have been good customers in, uh, and operators in New Zealand, and they actually have been very good in the recent earthquake in, in Canterbury, and working very well with the locals there. And that's a good indication of how well Westpac operates within our wider financial community. But this bill actually makes some improvements, because as we have seen, there are some issues potentially with operating as a branch of an Australian bank rather than as a subsidiary uh, a, a, a fully regulated by the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. So this provides a little bit more surety to those customers out there of, of Westpac uh, to be able to have some understanding that their own assets or liabilities, depending on they've got mortgages or deposits, will have some greater regulatory cover by the Reserve Bank. Because there is a little bit of uncertainty about that, but uh, there's, there's no fear and concerns. So this is a good bit of tidying up to fix that potential anomaly that might exist. Because New Zealand, we have a very strong banking system, and Westpac is one of the stronger players in that banking system. I understand Westpac's the top 100 bank in the world, and has come through the financial crisis globally in a very, very strong fashion, as indeed all the New Zealand banks have done. But one of the interesting things about that is that this bill actually has some interest, uh, some a lot slightly unusual aspects which I think will be an interesting uh, analysis to take into account when this bill comes before the Finance and Expenditure Select Committee. I just want to quickly touch on some of those because I'm sure that uh, being a member of the committee will spend some time looking at some of these aspects, in particular what's known as the liabilities cap. Because, Mr Speaker, not only are all these assets and liabilities transferring to this uh, new subsidiary, but there actually is a cap that exists. So it's not, like, not everything is transferring. There's, a, there's actually a $15 billion liability cap that puts in place as part of this transfer. And some people might say, well, is that enough? Well, I mean, that'll be one of the interesting things that we'll look at, I think, very carefully as part of the select committee process. Is it enough? Is the cover adequate for those depositors and those with mortgages with Westpac, uh, those that are banked with Westpac in some way, like I do and like my children do, and then the ability for uh, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand to be able to regulate and control uh, that new subsidiary in the best way, or should that cap be lower or higher? Mr. Uh, Speaker, at this stage, I don't think uh, we have really a view on that, and that's one of the interesting things I'm sure we'll look in depth as part of that process. You see, the Reserve Bank has been working with Westpac over a number of years to, to improve and work out what are the options around local incorporation. And I know there's been a lot of discussion in the media about some of the other issues that they've dealt with, uh, such as bringing in place uh, other, other parts of their operations more into, into New Zealand. So in the very unusual uh, uh, case that we might actually have a problem with the bank, then they could actually have some regulatory oversight. And I, I know Westpac's been very good at working closely with the Reserve Bank to meet its requirements and be able to satisfy the Reserve Bank that, that under our New Zealand regulatory requirements, uh, which they do operate under the Australian regulatory requirements, that they do operate within the law and well and be very happy with the Reserve Bank. I think one of the other aspects that people don't, haven't touched on so far is some of the, the neat aspects that Westpac actually do, does in the community in a wider fashion. And some of those things will carry on and have been done for years and years. And one of the ones I was particularly uh, touched by uh, when uh, doing some research as part of this bill is called the Coast Care Cleanup. And that exists in relation to 
where I live on the east coast in Christchurch. I'm going to advise the member that his time has expired into five minutes. Oh. 